David, we'll start with Saturday, first of all, your game against Darlington. A game where two sides will meet each other, two former league sides, both on similar runs at the minute, without a win in four. Your thoughts on the game ahead? Yeah, tough game. Obviously a team um, expecting to, to bounce straight back, like all teams are in, in this division, um, that, that come down from the League Two. Um, obviously, uh, Mark Cooper, a well-established uh, manager at this level, and um, yeah, well, you know they made some some good signings. But equally, um, their form of late will be uh, disappointing to Mark. But likewise, um, we go into it at home, and, and we're certainly looking forward to it. Are you expecting to face a side who notoriously park the bus in front of the goal? Um, I think Mark's. Um, uh, Management style is, is similar to that. You know, they, they play f fairly direct, and they have done. But that, that's his um, the way he approaches the games, and um, I've got a respect for that. But um, we, we, we're looking forward to it, and obviously uh, we're, we're hoping to, to get the three points on Saturday. Is it important to start trying to build momentum again? Because yeah. to say to say the least, David, you've maybe lost the wind from yourselves in the last couple of games. Yeah, the, the, perhaps the wind has been knocked out of our sails a little bit, but by results, but not perhaps but by performances for certain elements that have, have come into the equations. That you know, the, the two sendings off at, um, at Luton and certainly uh, Gateshead didn't help us. I mean, we were firmly in control at Gateshead. Um, but the, you know the, the mannerisms are you have to make sure you're strong, determined, and, and looking forward to you know going out there and uh, putting in a performance, and, uh, and we will do, and that's equally the same every week. One new signing today, Simon Grand coming into the side. Is he in contention to be to be involved at least on Saturday? Yes, he will. He'll train with the players today, and and obviously um, uh, we'll look to see. Uh, how we fare with regards to injuries um, other than Simon, um, we, we've got a few niggles and obviously they're waiting for players to see if they can train tomorrow, which will be Friday, which will be only 24 hours before the, uh, the kick-off, but um, we'll, we'll see. What's attracted you to Simon in the first place? Why has he been signed by the I think his mentality is um, that he don't like being beat. I, I wonder if my teams have played against Simon. Um, he's been a tough customer and I think we need that type of credentials. He's a wholehearted man who puts his head in. He's a, he's a bit of a warrior, and, um, and I think that he shows that in his, um, his makeup. Did Simon's signing suggests that you've highlighted a weakness in your squad in centre defence? It's not a weakness, it's something that we can improve on. And um, uh, with, with young Tom going out to get some valuable experience at uh, Alfreton, and Mark Priest looking very likely that he, he needs um, a cartilage operation, um, I didn't want to leave ourselves short. Um, in numbers, you know, Tom's gone out for the benefit of experience, but um, certainly, you know, Mark's uh, loan period will be coming up, and Simon's availability has become uh, um, apparent to me because of a signing that Fleetwood are making. So I felt it was important that he stepped in at the right time. Call cool. it the power of deductions, but Steve Foster's your captain. Mm. Chris Smith plays alongside him. Is it looking like Chris Smith may be the one to make way? For Simon, I haven't made any any judgments yet, David. I think um, whether you've got an armband or not, um, you know, the, 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 everybody has to earn their place. Um, letting in eight goals in, in two games has, has been unhealthy for us. Um, the the goals that we conceded against um, uh, Wimbledon, I, I, you know, I've not singled out anybody, but likewise, I, I was very annoyed at the mannerisms that we showed in that that game defensively. So you look to improve that. But it'd be harder to leave your captain out, would it not? Everybody has to earn their place, and, and Steve knows that uh, effectively. Of course he does. But Simon can also, you know, he's a versatile defender. He can play two or, two or three different positions. Um, but ultimately, we come here, and we must have we must have more clean sheets. And I, I'm not. Um, I didn't enjoy letting in five goals. It's the first time I think in my managerial career that I've let five goals in, and um, the goals were soft. And the players must make sure that they're showing more metal. It would be crucial for Mansell Town on Saturday to score the first goal. It's been noticeable over the last couple of games that you've conceded early, and maybe that's put you on the back foot. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, there's, there's a couple of teams in this division who have never won a game when they've conceded the first goal. So having that character, I felt we showed good character after the, the first two um, uh, you know, mistakes uh, against Wimbledon and got to get back in the game, but then the third one just before half time was a, a telling blow. and. Um, yeah, no. How we set up is is, is so important. Um, and when the players take to the field, you know, you want them to show what type of they've got to implement themselves into the game by showing how strong they can be. We spoke on Monday about a number of knocks and injuries that your side was struggling from. Were those cleared up during the week? 
Well, I'm, you know, I'm pleased to have Carl Nix back. Um, I see how he is. Obviously, he only played five minutes for England, but I'm, I'm delighted to have a representative in that that department. Um, there's a couple with a bit of a cold, um, certainly, um, and we'll see how they, they've had a, you know they had to keep away from the club. Um, but no, Keegan Parker's got a, a swollen ankle through a knock in, in last Saturday's game, so he's not trained. Um, and Robert Duffy's got a, a slightly tight hamstring, um, so they'll be out of training this morning. Um, so really, you know, offensively, we must make sure that we're we're um, prepared on Saturday, um, and it may change the, the makeup of the side. When we spoke on Monday, I think you were frustrated, disappointed, and you can choose the words in regard to your your set pieces uh, away from home on, on Saturday. Plans to change? Who takes them? Um, I think that in a number of weeks we've had certainly different players taking uh, um, the set plays, and they were disappointing. So I think we made their goalkeeper look rather good. Um, it was a little bit of catching practice for him. So yeah, that was you know we worked very hard on those, I and mean, we spend we're spending more time this season uh, doing those aspects. So uh, for me, you know, on Saturday we had good good opportunities in certain areas. Um, and we failed to make those work, so we'll have a look at that in the training room. So you've not quite decided who will be taking. I'm looking. I'm looking to see who's available to play, David. To be honest, because we, you know, so we are down on numbers and, and making sure when we come tomorrow morning, I can pick a side, a healthy side, to go out there. So I'm, I'm not, certainly uh, not going to be able to do that today, but. I've got a good idea, and if everybody comes uh, uh, onto the training ground fit and healthy, then you know, we'll, we'll be working hard on those again tomorrow. In terms of in terms of Darlington, a side you've mentioned already, a former league side, they're getting to grips with the Blue Square Prem. Mm. What not advice could you give Darlington? But it's certainly a, a competitive league, and it's two former league sides that both want to be back back in that league too. Yeah, I think it's managing your expectations. I think that that's always um, a, 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 a telling factor. I think Mr. Money uh, at Luton came down uh, last year and expected to bounce straight back. And I think um, Mark's been sort of um, a little bit different in his approach by saying that we expect to go back up and uh, we will go back up. I think you put a lot of weight on your shoulders um, uh, as a manager, and, and you know we certainly have that desire still. Um, and it's easier said than done. In terms of in terms of what shall we say, Mansfield Town fans want to win. They want they want to win. You want to win. Everyone at this club wants a win. Does losing become a habit? Does drawing become a habit? And if you let them habits uh, creep in, um, it's not something I'm I'm used to, uh, and certainly I don't expect. But I look I've looked at the games individually, um, and obviously collectively, uh, we'd like to have had a, secured a few more points, David. But uh, looking at the aspects of those games, I think we can um, take some good things out of most of them and learn from others. Would you agree that some people have made too much of the fact that you've gone without a win in four when you look at where you were two weeks ago, top of the table? Yeah, I would. Yeah, two weeks is a, it's a you know twenty-four hours is a long time in football, isn't it? Um, and, and people are making you know uh, ridiculous comments and needlessly, and um, uh, we'll, we'll stick to our plan. At the end of the day, we're four points off third place. Crawley are having a, a very good run of things, and Wimbledon, you know, a, a very good side. Um, so we're four points off third place in coming in the third week of October. I think we're in a good position. Have you been surprised though by how supporters have been, shall we sh say, showing their frustration, yeah. quite, you know, quite vocally in recent games? No game. Game when you've had two, when you, like I said, two weeks ago, you were top of the table. I had some fantastic emails this week from supporters who. Have really supported and were a little bit frustrated at the element of people in the last 10 minutes. I'll say, I felt our fans at Gateshead went up there and sang their hearts out um, and really, really got behind the players. And um, even when we went down to 10 men, they were like an 11th man. And you need them supporters. Up to the 80th minute on Saturday, I felt our fans were outstanding, absolutely outstanding. But for some reason, in the last 10 minutes, they decided to to vent their frustration. Um, that may be fuelled by different things, um, but for me, their support has always it's never waned. They, you know, we all get frustrated. I get frustrated, but likewise, um, we're totally focused on on our responsibilities and our job. Um, and players, you know, need support. The club needs support. And as I say, the emails I've got um, from a lot of fans this week have been very, very extremely supportive, and certainly um, see that. We've improved. We're playing a lot better football this season than I believe we were probably last season. 
a different element in player that we've attracted, and um, and I'm delighted with that. The football we've shown has been has been very good, and we were very much in that game. So it was disappointing. Yeah, it was extremely disappointing, but also I'm I'm certainly uh, um, delighted with the support I've had since that by elements of fans that have you know said that those fans that um, decided to turn on us um, were a minority. Um, as uh, Maz is up. Um. Yeah, as healthy as we are, we, we expect um, certainly you know, he's in, he's in the, uh, the rehab stage now and um, we hope Alan recovers sooner rather than later.